Yeah, let's have some fun oh, uh, this Sunday. Is fun. This is very serious. It is I serious, think, but roster. it is fun because people actually care that they're going to put <laughs> in the hands of us for the yeah, next yeah. seven or eight minutes that we're going to create a roster. Coach Jack and Coach Platt here coming up with the 26-man roster for the World Cup. Let's play with goalkeepers first. I think this is pretty much a done deal. First of all, we just saw Dane Sinclair play and play well. A spare a thought for Max Grippo. It's really difficult for me to not see him on this board. He's a special human being. Uh, and James Pantamus, number three for a reason. Yeah, I think he's the one who, who most obviously comes in. You know, it's taken the starting job with CF Montreal. Obviously, Hassau got the call up for this camp as well. But for me, Pantamus just a bit ahead. And, you know, this is the man we're going to need. And we're going to need big time because, you know, I, I, I think he's going to be tested at this tournament. And, and he was magnificent in qualifying. And we're going to need him to, to be again. Yeah, good for Dane Sinclair. Who we saw again a play against, you know, against Bahrain in this game. To be able to be, I think, closer to Milan Boy and learn again from him. Yeah. Match day preparation, the opportunity to know what it takes Milan Boyan playing the biggest games not only for club but also for country as well and was immense in the qualifying campaign for Canada okay let's move forward remember we're picking 26 players let's go to the next level of defenders uh, when we look at these players here we've come, we've come up with eight as we're taping we're awaiting details on the fitness of Daniil Henry who obviously missed this game today in the la you know a, a, a last minute second where he's pulled out of the warm-ups at this moment we've gone with eight with Waterman Cornelius and Henry if Henry's not going to play, do we need another defender there or do we get to that another level later, another different level of player? Potentially we do, yeah. It's just a question of who would you actually be willing to put on the pitch in Qatar, who's got enough experience, yes. right? And I think even, even if Daniil's fit to be in the squad, the fact that he didn't play today is a big issue. It means that Steven Vittoria, for me, has to, to play every minute, you're hoping, and, and not come off the pitch. And the same goes for, for Kamal Miller and Alistair Johnson as well. I, I, I think if, if, if Herdman can get his way in terms of them being able to do it, these three will not come off the field. Yeah, let's get to that next. Let's keep these up because Canada, you call it whatever you want. They're a flexible team, but they play with a back three with full backs and, they, and, and many times it's going to look like a five against the teams they're playing against, right? So who are they going to rely on to play every minute? Number one right here, Alistair Johnson. You'd expect him to be the right-sided of the three. Vittoria, if he can go, central midfield, central of the back three, and Miller. There's your three right there. And then you'd expect Richie Larea and Adekubi to be your full backs, but... You'd expect that, but Larea, can he be challenged by someone like Hoyland at this yeah. point? Well, that, that, we, we don't have him on the screen, so we have him listed as a midfielder and also Tejon Buchanan as a forwards. But those are two players who you could potentially look at the, that right wing back role. Yes. The left one will be Adekubi, I think, full time, unless they want Davies to potentially drop back there at some point in a certain situation. But Adekubi is solid. Then it's the battle, I think, between Larea and Hoyland. Maybe Buchanan, I tend to think he'll play further forwards. But yeah, those are the five that you look at that are going to play big minutes I think we've gone with 26 and we've gone with eight defenders the reason why I bring this up is because you just mentioned Hoyler and Davies who can help this group yeah. we've mentioned the five players that we think are going to play significant minutes and it leaves three and I think that number could still be one met too many I think the, the, depending on what happens with Henry we could get to a point where they, they might need another player you know, instead of a defender, and we'll get into that in a second. Well, and the other player not on this screen who could come into it as well is Atiba Hutchinson, of who course. we have seen drop to centre-back before. It's not something I love, just because I think Atiba is such a good midfielder that, that you want him always there when he's on the pitch. But if there is a need for a replacement for, for Vittoria, it might at this point be Atiba Hutchinson as opposed to another defender coming in. Well, that's why you have to look at the club as a profile, right? So Johnston plays on the right side of a back three. If he's not going to be available to play, and it's a big if, who plays in that position? If Vittoria can't play a few minutes, who's going to play in that position? You'd expect it would have been Daniil Henry. Maybe that falls into Waterman. The left side without Kennedy, if Miller can't play, it's Cornelius, right? That's the balance. Yeah. So that's, that, that's what we expect. And of course, Adekubi is back, backed up by Davies who can play there. Larea can switch to the left as well. There's a lot of interchange there, which I think can benefit Canada. Let's go to the next level. And this is our midfielders uh, for this projected World Cup roster that we've got going. Many of these will not surprise any of you. Many of these you've seen and been familiar with. Um, Astakio, the best there, no doubt about it. Yeah. Let's go through roles. Uh, 90 plus 90 plus 90 in any regard. No, no question, I think, with Stephanie Stacky yep. not, not coming off the pitch again. Then you get into a bit more of a question mark, right? It's Iba Hutchinson. How healthy is he going to be? Can he start the first game? How many minutes can he go in the first game and onwards? 
And if there is a question there about Atiba's status, who is the next one up to, to come in next to Estakia? Who is that player? I think it's Piet at this point. If I'm thinking about Belgium right now and we've got to put together a team, you look at what Piet's been relied upon to play against Uruguay, again relied upon today, captain in the team. Atiba Hutchinson's played one game since June. To expect him to start all three games, I think no matter how much we love him, is an extreme uh, expectation. So Sam Piet for me is some, a player that I think you could look at maybe landing against, against, up with a Stacchio. But what about Kone? Could he play in that role as a two? He saw him playing a little bit higher today. I think if Atiba's not ready to go in that first game, it is Piet. He's just a bit more of a safer option, a proven option. But we're watching some Atiba Hutchinson here. Like, I, I still think even with the lack of minutes, even with the fitness question, if they can get him in yeah. for that first game, I think they'll do it because I still think there's a gap between him and everyone else not named Eustachio. I agree. Um, and, and especially when you talk about playing against a team like Belgium, Atiba Hutchinson, his whole career playing in the Champions League has seen that pace, that level, right? So even if it's not necessarily a pace that he's been playing at in the last few months, Months. He knows what it's like. He's experienced it. I'm not sure you can say that about so many others. We've got. Let's let's talk about bands here for a second. So you've got your back three, then you've got your four that are in the front, and we think that's basically two sixes at this point. Yeah. Any of these names at the top, and I think we we agree right now, the depth order is probably like that in this way. K struggling for minutes at the moment, but then you've got other players who can play in a three that can class as midfielders. I think Hoylet's more of a wider player, yeah. but then you bring in Azorio and Wotherspoon and Kone, who can may, may, maybe challenge the likes of David and Buchanan or Davies or Laren even to, to, to maybe play a role in that position. And why do you think Wotherspoon deserves a spot in this squad? I think he's a really good player, an underrated Agreed. player, to be honest with you. I, I think he's back playing in Scotland now. He's a player I compare a little bit to Azorio just in terms of their ability with Canada need it to give them a third midfielder mm -hmm. ahead of the other two. Um, I, I think as, as long as he's fit and playing and he is back in the team in Scotland, like I said, I don't think there's any question he's on the roster. I think he's, he's at that level where he's a player who, who could come into minutes contention. I agree with that. Supremely technical yeah. at, at this level as well. Breaks the lines as well with passes, but also is the ability to receive the ball with his back to goal, like Azorio. Yes. Can get away, can, can stretch yeah. the line, yeah. play on the turn, and play forward quickly, yeah. which is what they're going to need from, I think, all three of these players in those high players. I think that's particularly against something against the top teams like Belgium and Croatia. Let's move to our next board. Um, when you can see the forwards for the projected roster. Um, and I think these names are obviously all going to... The, they're all going to go, it's no? good front four, though. We've yeah, lined up. exactly. And I think out of that front four against Belgium, three of them are going to start, right? That's the question, right? Is could, could Buchanan start a wing-back and you can get these three in the front three? I don't, do I don't think three? you can play four. I, I'm, I tend to agree with you. And I, and I think that leaves us at this point, given club form, probably looking at this man here as good as he was in, in Laren, qualifying. I'm yeah. pointing at Carl Laren on yeah. the screen. Yeah. Um, but, give, you know, it's, it's a tough one given the goals he scored in qualifying. He was absolutely brilliant. But I think right now, looking at the form they're in coming into the World Cup, you, you want to unleash Buchanan, Davies and David. Yeah, that's the key, right? John Herdman has said the entire time coming into this World Cup, regardless of the opponents, they're not going to change the style where they play. So many people would say, are you really going to not pack the midfield against Croatia or Belgium? And you're really going to play three of these on the top line? But I think what we know is they're going to be bold to be brave. They're going to go for it. Now, that might change if they end up getting smashed or something in the first game and they need to get something out of, yeah. out of Croatia. That could theoretically change, which is where Azorio, Wotherspoon, Kone can come in. Um, but I think they're going to go with that. And if you're Mar Roberto Martinez and you're like, OK, they got these guys with the pace and suddenly Davies and Buchanan have got those free roles behind. And then you've got David up top who comes back and almost plays as a 10 and covers in midfield. There's a lot to like. That's how they want to beat teams for me, is, is these two high and wide areas and Adekubi and Hoyle or Larea on the other side supporting them. It's, yeah. it's that wing play that, that's the X factor for Canada for me. Um, the, the interesting one on this screen I wanted to bring up and, and, and ask you about is Liam Miller here. This, for me, might be player number 26 on the roster, yeah. and there's, there's maybe some contenders there yeah. uh, to, to compete for his place. What we'll know is the likes of Corbinu, Brim, Coley Asho, they're going to be very difficult to get in the squad because how are you going to take minutes from these? Right. That's the problem. What Miller has done is he's found the ability to score goals, get into games quick as a substitute, and also been tried as, as a fullback. Wingback, That's yeah. why he's tried him in those positions as well. Ubo I like because he can stretch the pitch a lot. He gets in behind, not comes to the ball a lot, which I think is important. He's in form as well. We know Cavallini. He does a great job with the squad as well. So that is our 26-man squad. We'll see whether we're right or we'll see whether we're wrong, but hopefully Canada are the ones who are right and John Herdman will certainly tell you the squad on Sunday.